there's misconduct here, guilt. Someone is being ambitious, but this is what they're telling you. Someone is claiming to be ambitious, but I feel this is someone who just has no limits. This is someone who dishonored the connection they have with you. Through envy, jealousy, resentful energies, gossip, insecurities, and thoughtless behaviors. I feel like this is someone who did a lot of things out of a space of greed, a sense of lack. As I said before, this is someone who moves out of a space of insecurities. Envy. This is someone who is never satisfied, always wanting what they feel they can't have. Now they're tied or bound to misery. Someone didn't care about the troubles or the heartbreak that they caused. They were surface level, shallow, and empty. This is someone who caused a lot of arguments, being greedy or having a sense of lack. Because this energy always had a need for something. Always sitting in a space of not having. Now, this energy enjoys the sense of being complacent, unstable, and heartless. Because they're coming out as being stonewalled or having a stone heart. This energy is cruel, emotionless, and heartless. And they're filled with phobias. Hmm. Playing the victim when it comes to commitment or not revealing something when it comes to their sabotage. Yet I feel this is someone who has a lot of fears and phobias that they project on others because they're selfish. Inconsiderate, inconsiderate and greedy. This is someone who is not logical, never timid, yet they are always projecting their energy, seducing others, and being bratty about something. Someone knows that what they did was unforgiving, shallow, and they could be projecting their insecurities after sabotaging something with you. This is someone who is very non-committal, selfish, and not logical or rational when it comes to justifying their harsh ways. Yet I feel someone's about to be humbled. Because for many of you, what they have done is unforgiving. Let's get some more energy here. Hold this here. What messages here? What kind of messages here for the collective energies? As I said before, this is someone who is very selfish, irrational, and childish. This is someone who is very immature. And I feel you've had to do a lot to bend or compromise with this energy who is never flexible or never vulnerable. This is someone who is not letting go of their childish ways, but there's a lot of anxiety of someone overthinking something. Yet this energy is still lonely, even if they're surrounded by what they think or what they thought they wanted. This is woe is me energy of someone not being accountable for their actions. They could be an energy of being very harsh towards you. And for some of you, I feel like you're looking for something, looking for closure, looking for answers. But I feel the more you seek, you have to be careful what you find. Someone's feeling lonely. And they're feeling the void of you or their lack of healing by temptation, being weak to something. This is someone who is judgmental, stubborn, and resistant to rooted values, tradition, as this energy has a very fixed mindset to justify their actions. So I feel like for many of you, they place blame a lot. This is narcissistic energy. This could also be predator energy of someone who's very narrow-minded, moody. But I also feel this energy is very sensitive. This is why they're so harsh, because they're doing things that they would never want done to them, but they are in a space of not wanting to be held accountable. 
there's sarcasm here and someone not wanting to be com confrontational. There's jealousy. And this energy is very defensive. Very defensive about some unhealthy habits. Someone's trying to justify the rage. For some of you, this could be a violent situation or someone who's just hot-headed, unpredictable. If this energy is protecting their ego by being dismissive of you, dismissive of you or avoiding you with disdain, anger, rage. Because they're insecure and emotionally unavailable. Someone is still tied to their materialistic ways and not being logical about their finances or their stability. Someone is trying to make something work when it's completely not. Someone's very sneaky here. Insecure energy of someone who is emotionally unavailable, still attached to some bad habits hmm, that are detrimental. They need to learn some type of self-control when it comes to sex drugs, alcohol, because they are sitting in a space of fixation, impulsion. Yet this energy is completely afraid. If they sit in these toxic ways and bad attachments, cheating, being disloyal, telling lies, because they're too used to being manipulative, addicted to these toxic ways. Yet I feel when they're in this space of being antisocial or eager to please, they're trying to hide these true emotions because they're too prideful. For some of you, you may see this energy as self-loathing or a dead peat, a deadbeat or a parasite, a sponge, someone who is useless to your energy because of all the chaos that they cause, because they're spoiled, possibly even abusive. This is bossy energy, spoiled, rotten energy. Someone is a brat. But someone's about to be tamed. Because as I said before, them projecting or seducing is unforgiving. Someone is closed off, vindictive, and possibly revengeful. I feel this is someone that presented themselves one way but ended up completely changing on you. I sense there is a sense of... Uh, confusion many of you have no clue why this energy just switched up on you but i feel they just ended up showing their true colors let's get a little bit more energy here let's bear this message here i feel like this is someone who is unhealed hmm. i feel like this energy is unhealed and revels in the art of sympathy in childish games as they feel being broken gets them a free pass more attention so they do these things out of spite strategy thinking they're going to get their way but i feel realistically they have no intentions of changing but to get better at getting what they want rather than growing from their mistakes. This is someone who's continuing to shame, blame, and point out everyone else's flaws but their own. I feel like this is someone who is blaming everything and everyone who doesn't support their agenda or co-sign their toxic energy or toxic ways. Someone is wanting you to be naive. Naive to loyalty, naive to their toxic energy or abusive ways. But there's too much evidence. There's too much evidence when it comes to someone who is playing games of hide and seek. Playing games that are not only affecting you, but scarring them in the process. Someone wanting to seek independent independence from someone who is very codependent. Wow. Um, because something is fading fast. This energy is not being logical, but there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of rumors about this energy being irresponsible or immature. This energy is hiding behind the victim mentality and pretending to be ambitious. But as I said before, this energy is aggressive, pushy, and they have no limits. 
I feel this energy of being a predator or being toxic, having a narrow mindset will only cause a painful ending. The more unsatisfied, the more lonely this energy gets, I feel the more aggressive they get with being satisfied, but there's no end to it. This is why they're always coming up empty. There's no reward for their behaviors. If this energy continues to try, coming up short, they're always stressed. Yet I feel this energy is still lurking in the shadows. Lurking in the shadows with some type of cloudy judgment. Soft morals. Empty values. But I feel for many of you, this energy that they bring to you feels like hate. Because they're going through a dark night of the soul. And they have issues. This energy is moody. Offensive. And very headstrong. For many of you, this energy is completely stressed out, always dis defensive, and trying to force some type of control. I feel like they could be trying to orchestrate something, but I feel they're going down a very dark path. This energy is going down a dark path because they're refusing to change. This energy is defensive about transforming, and they're bitter about not being able to complete something. They can't have their way. Someone doesn't want to be tamed. Hmm. I feel like someone doesn't want to be tamed. I feel you are calling this person to be better than who they are. And I feel that's offensive to them. Hmm. This is why they're fighting at all costs. Bringing you false energy or bringing you pain. Wow. Wow. This is someone who wants you to feel like you're a loser. This energy wants you to feel like you're unlovable, yet this energy is upset because you're not a pushover. Someone's on the edge because you turned your back. <sighs> but this energy not, ex not stepping up or ignoring the signs is causing something to come to an end or an explosion. Something is about to come to a head here. I feel that both of you are not on the same page. Many of you have already given up the fight and I feel this is also causing some type of inner rage for this energy who is completely narrow-minded. They feel left out in love. But someone is also feeling safer in solitude. This could be your energy, but someone is needing to tap in because this energy is definitely resisting divine intervention. They are resisting change. Someone thought you were going to be a pushover in a situation and they thought you were going to let something slide. So they could be faking their happiness, faking their energy in some type of way. You feel like this energy has had no retribution. There's been no pain. Yet I feel there has been. And they're just getting worse by the minute. Hmm. This is someone who is sitting in this energy because they don't know how to find their way. They don't know better choices. They've never implemented anything else. They want you to feel like you've lost because they know they're losing. Let's get some more energy here. I feel like this is an energy that prayed for what you gave. Hmm. But there's a lot of insecurities when it comes to this energy. You not being a pushover definitely cause something to fail when it comes to them. This is why they're angry with you. Because they couldn't get over on you. Someone couldn't draw you in with seduction. Something is old news or overplayed. You're no, no longer trying to tame them. You're no longer trying to give in to them or let them have their way. Hmm. Wow. As I said before, this is an energy that prayed for the love and support you gave, yet they made you feel used and, uh, and abused, disrespected by things they intentionally took you through, where I sense even though there is so much to be said or 
explained. You've learned not everything needs a reaction. And for others, I feel you're learning that. Especially when you know you've given everything 100% with a pure heart. Causing many of you to master the art of silence and distance to allow your guides and ancestors to speak for you. This is someone who has a lot of insecurities trying to draw you in with some type of seduction. But for many of you, you already know this energy has a wild heart and they cannot be tamed, especially when it comes to their rage, their um, emotional issues or their heavy baggage. For many of you, this is someone who is still repeating patterns, repeating cycles, stuck in the past, consumed by appearances or influences. But there's a lot of trust issues because of the past wounds and the fact that this energy is driven by lust. Wow. For many of you, I feel like this energy is driven by lust, wasting time, haunted by their past. And the fact that they have a fear of intimacy, true affection, a true energy of give and take because they're disconnected, never satisfied, and for some of you, a pathological liar. This is someone who is never telling the truth and living behind a false identity, stuck behind a mask and fearing the energy of being vulnerable. Hmm. This energy is feeling some type of way about you rejecting or letting go. But you're tired of the lies or the fact that they are trying to look down on you because they always end up draining you. Draining you through their delusions, lies, deceptions. You've lost faith. You've lost faith in someone who's acting like a complete fool. Hot and cold energy, you don't know what to expect from this energy. Always trying to do something in secret. So many of you are leaving something behind, even though something is still replaying in your heart or even your mind. But I feel for many of you, you also remember their manipulative ways, which also causes you to detach or pull away. For many of you, I feel like you know they're keeping secrets. Some of you don't care, but I feel like some of you are seeking answers as well. But as I said before in the beginning of the reading, be careful of what you seek. Because for many of you, I do see you finding more than you asked for. Because someone is hiding their true motives behind a mask. Someone is also leaving you with more questions than answers and pulling some type of disappearing act. But I also feel this is intentional. But I feel something is about to be played out when it comes to playing this waiting game. Dark attachments, substance abuse, someone playing the martyr. Someone is unmotivated because they're empty inside. Trying to fill a void through dark influences. But I feel something is about to come to an end. Possibly even through a karmic energy, an environment, or a dead-end connection. But something's about to leave them overwhelmed. And we're just resenting the fact that they caused so much drama. Someone's watching everything. Hiding in the shadows. I'm really not sure who this is. But there is dark attachments to them. Someone's wanting to beg to return, but someone knows they don't have the right to do so. Always fact-checking here, but never giving in to what they know is true. Someone doesn't want to face their shadows, face their demons. But they could be dealing with some harsh realities when it comes to home finances, children, bloodline, legacy. Someone thought you were going to fix this. But someone's trapped in something. Someone feels like you abandoned the connection. They're moody about it. And doesn't know how to ask for something from you. So they feel like you're ignoring them. And for others, they feel like you just moved on. For some of you, I don't feel like you really wanted to move on. You had to. This energy pushed you to, to do so because there's so much you don't know. 
what I feel in this reading. We're just going to find out. So let's get a little bit more energy here from a different deck. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump into a different deck. Um, actually, we'll come back to that deck. I want to see a little something. Hot and cold energy here. So I definitely feel someone is very sneaky here and they're preparing for something. Even if that's trying to love bomb you. There's something going on in the workplace. Someone's not being who they should be or someone's not, someone's making excuses. Something's being revealed. Wow. So I definitely feel someone's trying to prepare for something when it comes to you, but they're on the edge. This is an energy who pushed things to a dark place, trying to justify their actions of being a bully or pushing the boundaries. Hmm. Wow. I feel like this is someone who pushed the boundaries when it comes to you and they overreacted. They pushed you to a place where you just couldn't understand or hear what they had to say. Let me get a little bit more energy here from this deck. Let's look at my messages here. I just felt like I should have finished with this deck. End connection. Someone's triggered. Someone's triggered by the finances. Someone wasn't checking something. Someone's being sneaky, unmotivated. Someone wants to come back because they can't trust the ones they're around. Hmm. Something's going on in the home environment. Someone doesn't trust their environment. I'm really not sure what this is, but this could be taking place in the workplace or at home, but someone is doing something to hide something. Someone's trying to hide money or hide what they have done for money. Something's lost. Someone's in a mood. Someone did it all for money. Someone did something too much and now they're tangled in some lies, pretending not to be blind. So I feel like someone is pretending to be blind to a truth. And I also feel like this is someone who is also trying to trigger you. Trigger you by not admitting something or not acknowledging something. But I feel this is someone who has snake vibes. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone who acts innocent, but you feel they have the energy to betray you. But I feel it's out of sight, out of mind when it comes to this energy. This is why they're not giving in to what they know is true. Giving you what you deserve, something that is long overdue. This is someone who is con consumed by something. Fixated on affecting you emotionally, wanting you to be consumed by something. And this energy has a lot of destructive, destructive tendencies or destructive ways to get a rise or get some type of attention from you. But they feel blocked out. They try to avoid what they feel. For some of you, they even ghosted you. But now they are in regret because they feel blocked out. They don't like that. They're overthinking. They feel something is outdated. They should have never tried to manipulate you, but they feel like something is too far gone. Someone is projecting their issues. Hmm. I feel like this energy is pro projecting these issues because they feel like they're trapped. Blinded by guilt. Someone is immature. Immature and still talking about you. Testing boundaries. Not wanting to watch, but they can't help themselves. They're full of drama. Someone could un be under a third-party control or allowing 
influences to control their decisions or they're trying to do the same to others. <sighs> but someone's not wanting to be left out, but the, you guys are still on the wrong page here. You don't feel like you guys are on the same page. This is why you turned your back. And I feel like that's putting this person on the edge, even though they don't want to admit that they care or want to be in your energy. Or the fact that you are the best they ever had. This energy just doesn't want to admit their commitment issues. They're lurking, hiding, and overwhelmed by their issues. This energy is not letting go of something. They're blinded by the guilt. And the guilt is keeping them trapped. This is why they'll never be satisfied in whatever they do and whoever they meet will just be collateral damage until they find a way to get it right. Someone wants you to be consumed by emotion, wanting you to want something so much that you give in or adjust. This is the love bombing here. This is why someone wants to pressure you emotionally or pressure you by the history or pressure, pressure you by current circumstances. There's back and forth back and forth energy when it comes to influences or environments. Someone is talking about the separation. Someone is talking about the separation, their career, finances. Things are falling apart and someone's trying to get out of their head and they're doing reckless things to move forward or not think about something because something is definitely not working out. They want to walk away. But this energy is always running. Someone's wanting to walk away. They know something is worth it when it comes to you, but they feel like you seek clarity. This is why something has stalled because this energy is giving no answers. Twin flame energy here. For someone here who thought someone was the one, but many of you may see them as a false twin flame. Someone who was not being truthful, faking it. Someone's trying to clean something up, not wanting you to see something because they chose convenience over heart. But something is faded when it comes to not having access or reconciling. Someone's not solid when it comes to an apology, but they know they got caught. They're just playing dumb to it. Someone is playing dumb to an apology or this energy is playing dumb to the fact that they got caught. I feel like someone got caught in an illusion thinking that everyone wins. So they played hard to get. Some played hard to get and settled for less. Now they're guarded and refusing to transform, but I feel they took the bait when it comes to something that is going to make something a very long journey. Someone is fighting with you because they're exhausted. They're exhausted while you're giving in to self-care. Someone has hit their breaking point and they're arguing all the time, clashing with others. They're not on the same page with anyone. They're not returning calls and they're just bouncing around unprotected, ghosting people. But for many of you, you're fed up while others are still giving in to them. This is why this energy has failed to change because as I said before in this reading, they don't have a reason to. Well, they feel they don't. But I feel that will soon change as well. This is someone who will not be able to continue to play these games because something is fading. Something is fading out. Someone is getting too old for this, but they're still going back and forth about change. This energy is going back and forth about their own worth. And this is why they're trying to distort your perception of who you truly are. Pretending you have no relevance or you're crazy or you're overdoing something over emotional, over emotional, yet you're speaking facts or you're aligned with something. Someone knows you're telling the, telling the truth. Smooth talker energy here. Someone knows something is faded and they can't go back and forth with something. Something has just been too much of a hassle. It's been a long journey. 
You're tired of waiting for change. Someone's online doing something. But you are sitting in a space where self-care is more important. Not really giving in or caring about what's around. You're pouring into who's pouring into you. Mm, wow. And that's causing someone to miss out. Because this energy shows to bully you. Mm. I feel like this energy pushed you away because they had no clue on how to love or even be loved, causing them to miss out. Because they were never prepared for the blessing, which is you. I feel like this is someone who is still not acknowledging the truth, but they're going to experience some very harsh consequences for it. There's still love here. Yeah. There's a lot of love here. They long for you, but there's fear because they know they went too far. They know they can't have you or they know something is too far gone when it comes to manipulation and what they chose to sacrifice. For many of you, they may even result to telling you half truths, uh, a blind story. <sighs> because they feel like you can't prove something when it comes to them being a ladies man or playing the field or telling just complete lies. Because this energy was never ready for what you brought to the table. Yet I feel there will be deep regret deep regret for playing these games when it comes to you because I feel like this energy thought they had the game locked down mm. and they treated this situation as if it meant nothing to them in the dark about their secrets their lies gaslighting you and in a sense of determining to keep their secrets so they're not confessing Unless you can prove it. So this energy could be stringing something along. Hmm. And still not confessing the truth. For many of you, I feel like this is someone who is doing things because they feel like there's no consequences. Something cannot be proven. But this energy is being tested. This energy is being tested and they're completely failing. This energy has no intentions of committing. So they're giving not just you or anyone else, but self false hope. Possibly writing something out or keeping something as a plan B, but it's completely keeping them dark because this energy is unprotected. For many of you, I feel like this is someone who's keeping another situation as a plan B, still not protecting themselves mentally, emotionally, or physically, yet they're going back and forth on something. <sighs> still not having a heart-to-heart -heart when it comes to a close bond, a marriage, or a situation here. I feel like this energy knows it's too late. Someone knows it's too late to follow their heart with you. There's too many boundaries, there's too many facts, there's too many receipts. This is someone who was not loyal when it comes to all the love you gave, the support, the energy. <sighs> wow. As I said before, you guys, this is someone who is sitting in a space where they're doing a lot of reckless things taking a lot of chances and pretending you never cared when they know that it's farthest from the truth. But as I said before, this is someone who was never prepared for what you had to offer. Yet I feel the more they believe they don't have a chance or an opportunity, they can they become more vicious or egotistical as life begins to show them they're getting into some serious situations or getting too old for this because there's a lot of toxic energy here yet they have still chosen to fail as this energy never thought twice of 
your pain or discomfort, yet they still hold some type of resentment, pretending they're not damaged, but they're juggling some serious issues that cause them to bleed on those who never hurt them. This is why I feel like this energy is going back and forth, being irrational about something because they know they didn't have a reason to cause pain or be deceptive. This is some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what is the message here? What is the message here for the collective energies? Someone's pretending like they're living their best life, but they could be dealing with someone who's using for using them for money or taking advantage of them. This could be the opposite energy here. They could be doing that to someone else. This is someone who will never change their ways, and they could be trying to flex on their ex with someone new. Even if they want to reach out to you, someone feels like you should be on standby, even if they're being mischievous with one night stands or never being truly loyal or standing up for you. Someone knows they're running out of time to make something a happy home or to make you be blind to something, blind to their deceit or confusion. But I also feel they think about reaching out to you. Especially when they are inebriated, drinking, getting high, or just on a natural high of getting people to please or give in to them. They think about you or the fact that you don't give in. I also feel like someone gets inebriated and wanna, wants to reach out and drunk dial you or drunk test you, but someone feels like you won't respond, so they hold back. Hmm. But I feel they're still giving in to one night stands. I feel like this is someone who is still giving in to one night stands because they're affected by the truth of who they really are. To avoid who they really are, they try to push the limit. They push the limit in the wrong direction to feel some type of satisfaction or gain power, energy, energy by draining others. Draining others completely dry. For many of you, this is someone who has more than one issue. Catfishing energy. Someone is wanting someone else to be strong. Someone is pissed off because you're not giving attention. This is cuffing season and someone is upset about their finances. I also feel someone is embarrassed by their finances or where they are in life. They put money first and they was dragging something along. I feel like someone was dragging something along, putting money first, but they feel like they don't want what they have currently have possibly stalking you someone could be sliding into your dms or trying to text you secretly but they are definitely on the verge of doing so <sighs> so for many of you if they're not on the verge of doing so they think about it or you're getting blocked calls unknown calls or someone is riding past your house please take it how it resonates but this varies but this energy doesn't want to show their face or they don't want to be completely honest about what they're thinking or going through because they feel like you hate them i don't feel there's hate coming from your heart you're just tired of the distance you're tired of the games you're tired of the lies this energy feels like you don't want to give them another chance because they know they screwed this up completely. Now there's a sense of misery, heartbreak, yet they hide it through the one night stands, the lies, the overdoing things with finances. But this energy is miserable, causing toxic relationships or in a toxic relationship. But this energy is a thirst trap or sitting in one because they all, all they do is think about sex. All they do is think about the material things or what they can get. But something is starting to flatline. Whether it be, be the games or a situation, something is filled with drama. Someone is linking up secretly. Someone is wanting to just be friends. But someone is sitting in a space of being single and addicted to drugs, sex, or the thrill. 
This is someone who is very selfish, but they know you're old school about something. This is why they're wishy-washy, because they can't give you what you need. This energy has yet to heal. This is what causes them to be lonely, reaching out to things that will never serve them. But I feel them stepping into dark energies or playing games or not being able to resist temptation only leaves you uninterested. There's bad vibes here for someone who's overthinking something and they're heavy. They're heavy with something, but it isn't guilt because they're still sitting in mystery, trying to be mischievous and draining others. For many of you, you're trying to keep the faith, whether that's in self or change for this energy. They don't even deserve it, but you still pray for them. This is someone who has been a pain in your ass for a long time. And rather to check this or call out what you know is true, you let this slide to focus on self. And this is why I know there's no hate in your heart for this energy. You just want your peace. And many of you just want to move on. You want them to let go of the hate or the anger that they have for you. When they reach out, they have some type of energy. You just want to bounce back from something here. You're wanting to bounce back. You try not to overthink this as well. Because your heart is heavy. Hmm. But you're no longer wasting the time. I feel for many of you, this energy has a lot of issues. And you know it. But I feel you've tried to compromise so many times. Yet now it's just not worth it for you. Yet weirdly enough, even though they spite you, they still want your admiration or your trust, or even your blind loyalty. And I feel like they just want us to, to see this. They just want you to see this as a misunderstanding or something that could be swept under the rug, but they have yet to speak to you openly or receive the love and energy you want to have for them. And I also feel like that brings them to a sense of discomfort, which turns into resentment. But these reckless ways and selfish desires have also impacted or affected the core of someone's innocence, which is not a misunderstanding. However, there are are lasting consequences here. I also feel there is lasting effects because their words and actions have told you everything you need to know, which has caused many of you to stop searching for the good in them. That starting to feel like it isn't even there. As what they have shown you is simply their true character. For many of you, I feel like you're no longer overthinking this because this energy is still not acknowledging or showing any desire to change because they have yet to change their choices or intentions or even acknowledge that they're the reason that things have led them to this point today. Yet without change, I see the stain of misery and deception attached to them for life. This is someone who needs to fight to get it right. Yet this energy is still sitting in this low vibrational space and allowing others to distort their thoughts, their energy, giving into weaknesses that are only taking them deeper into a dark space. But I feel this is not your cross to bear. This is not something that you should be trying to Resolve. This energy has to do something with intention to resolve their issues because only them can feel or resolve their pain. 
However, allowing them to continue their antics will give them plenty of room to repent or destroy themselves in the process. Wow. Time is running out, though. I feel like time is running out when it comes to bouncing back and this energy needs to do something now with intention to make some real changes. But as I said before, this is someone who is not seeking the change. And without it, they will end up in this misery, thinking they will never be affected by consequences or they can always get away with something because they feel like they have something down. But this energy is really distorted by some facts here. They're distorted by some very toxic ways instant gratification because this energy is immature always thinking about money always thinking about their own needs they're selfish greedy immature sn soul snatching energy here of someone who is not very confident someone's not very confident when it comes to connections real attachments being authentic so they sabotage this energy sabotage things because they know they don't have the tools to maintain it so they pretend they're the victim and they never apologize. This is someone who has gaslighted you, left you on red, but I feel their toxic energy is too much. You putting yourself in the energy of releasing it has only put you in the vibes of making your dreams come true or finding a sense of peace where someone has brought you a lot of pain, disappointment, toxic energy of someone who is only thinking of their package. They're very cocky, confused, still sitting in a space of strategy. Yet they know that what you desire is a commitment, that this energy has no tools to heal. This is someone who is all over the place, scattered energy because they're only into self, confused as fuck because they are not ready to heal. Addicted to something, but they're about to make someone a single parent, but they're regretting being a single parent. Please take it how it resonates, but they're alone. They're not standing up to what they are supposed to be doing, who they should have been. Because this energy is only seeking pleasure or seeking to be pleased, but never wanting to give in to who they truly should be. We're going to grab a different deck here. What's very, what is the message here? The message here for the collective energies. This is narcissistic energy here of a false energy. And they definitely have someone attached. Wow. They do a lot to have their way, even if it's pay for play. Double ganger, someone is definitely trying to fill the void that you have left. They're getting nothing out of it. Someone feels like someone else is trying to trap them, but this is someone who is doing the trapping. This is someone who is never genuine about the love or the energy they bring, but they are very toxic and always playing the victim. But they're ticked off because something failed with you. You saw through something or you asked too many questions and they had to let go even though they didn't want to. But someone feels like they have a bigger game to play. This is why they get lost in these bad habits. Karmic energy here. Hmm. Someone feels like you friend zone them. Hmm. This is desperate energy here. Someone's in desperation. Someone make a deal with the wrong person. Someone regrets doing something with someone they barely know. There's legal issues here. Someone is jealous. And someone else had a hidden agenda. Someone is running. 
I don't know if this is the energy who hurt you or this is the third party, but someone is running. There's competition or there's heat. Someone is definitely going through some bad karma. I feel like this is another reason why someone is hating on you. For some of you feel like this energy is not having any kind of karma or consequences when in fact they are. They're, they're just hiding it and doing a very good job at it. They're masking their intentions and masking what they're going through. It's all an illusion. You could be dealing with a false energy here or a false environment. There's a lot of revenge. There's a lot of deceit and they're dealing with the fraud. They could also be the fraud because they're dealing with something that is complete struggle. This could be struggle love as well because there's a trauma bond. A toxic relationship where someone is wearing rose colored glasses. This could also be a karmic situation or just a false environment. Please take it how it resonates with someone is gang stalking. Gang stalking and looking for the cloud. Someone is definitely going through spiritual warfare. This is why you feel there's so much hate coming your way, but they're just projecting their energy of feeling lost or feeling nothing will ever change. Yeah, for many of you, I feel they have made a deal with someone who is false, fake, phony. This could also be their energy of making an alliance with someone who is fake. This could be your energy of feeling like you have made an alliance with an, an enemy or made a deal with someone you would rather take a, your energy back from because they're only hating on you. Egotistical energy who is always sitting in the energy of a thirst trap. Someone has some very ratchet ways about them, false divine feminine energy here. Someone is always giving in to the trap. But there is some type of pregnancy scare or toxic situation where there's a tower moment. Someone's being forced to see something for what it is. Masculine energy is upset with you for turning away. Not caring. Spiritual warfare here. Someone is dealing with a fraud. Someone definitely has a hidden agenda here. Someone wants you to put on these rose colored, colored glasses, but that is definitely not your energy here. You're not wanting to mask your emotions or intentions. I feel you're putting them out there and whatever comes out is whatever is deserved. Someone doesn't want you to speak a truth and this is why they're being so harsh towards you. They're trying to back you down, but there's no backing down here. And I also feel this is something you don't have to put your hand in the fire for. You don't have to fight with this energy. They're going to bring themselves to their own demise. This energy is a threat to themselves, not just to others. A thief, identity theft, someone's obsessed. Workplace situation has gone wrong. Someone's delirious when it comes to their deception. Their toxic ways. Someone's wanting to cash out. I don't know what that is. Someone's dealing with the karmic energy. Someone's possibly wanting to not be remorseful about something, especially when it comes to you. They don't even think about it. As I said before, out of sight, out of mind. The more they distance themselves, the more they don't have to think about what they did. There's no remorse, but I feel these old ways of thinking is just getting them the same old results and they should have never burned the bridge they had with you someone should have read between the lines but something was just too tempting something was too tempting someone was doing something for money it was a scam there's a keyboard gangster someone is very uh brave behind the keyboard they're doing a lot there's a lot of bullying there's no trust and there's a lot of receipts. Someone's calling unblocked. Please take it how it resonates. But someone feels like they have the right to be this way. Codependent. And getting all the attention they want. This is someone who is very insecure about who they are and making mistakes left and right because they feel they don't have to suffer. 
for the consequences of it. But this energy is about to walk into something when it comes to real life situations that they can't avoid. Whether it's evictions from a home or stability, something is being taken away from them. Something has been taken and there's nothing they can do about it. There's nothing they can do about it, but take it. Hmm. Let's get some final energy here and we're going to close out the reading. Thank you guys for um, sticking around. <laughs> we're going to close this out. Holy Spirit, what's the final message here? Final message here, Holy Spirit, thank you. This energy has put you through a lot, but you are very brave to get through this. This is someone who wants you to break, fold under the pressure, under the silence, the mystery of what's going on, but you, you haven't broken. Mm. Wow. For some of you, I feel like you're trying to kill them with kindness, and others, you're avoiding this altogether. You're trying to give in to your inner self, your inner peace. This isn't your problem. For many of you, you are stepping back, taking something back. You're taking your power back from someone who is powerless, losing control. This energy is wanting you to feel like you're losing control, but this energy is everywhere, scattered. There's no justice. There's no peace within their life. They can barely even get it together. This is why they're making more problems for themselves, because they feel like it'll bring them some type of satisfaction. But it's not. They're forcing it. They're forcing satisfaction. They're forcing change. But in a wrong way. Wanting to suck up to you. But you know they're lying. You know their energy is suspect. And this. This situation was no fairy tale. Yet I feel someone needs to stop being a baby about a situation and just apologize, stand up for what they know is true. Yet this energy feels like they know everything, but they clearly don't. This energy is just living in a false reality. Only giving in to their own rational or however they try to make sense of this but it's just drama it's a lot of drama and it's it's what you don't need this energy feels like everybody's screwed up but that's just them talking stupid because apparently they haven't learned anything yet but i feel something's about to come in that's about to be shocking something's about to get real real quick I feel there could be a truth bomb or something getting out of control and there's no going back. Hmm. For many of you, you feel sympathy for this energy, but they've been skating on thin ice for a long time. They should do more to pull it together. They do still have an opportunity to do so, but I feel it's a very thin line between love and hate and where they're trying to go because this energy is not trying to do anything right now, which is definitely going to send something into a shit show. This is a shit storm. Unpredictable energy of chaos. <sighs> Tornadoes. Destruction. Chaos. Oh my gosh, this chaos. This energy is very chaotic energy. As I said before, it's, it's scattered everywhere. They're they're playing themselves thin or they're scattering their energy. And they're in la la land. They don't care. They don't care who they hurt because they're hurting. This is why nothing is changing, but this is not the way to go because it's about to explode in their face. Someone's about to have an egg on their face because it's been a long journey and they've done nothing to change. This is someone who has done nothing about getting better or doing something different. And they're just completely sitting in a space where it's, it's feeling like a lost cause for someone who needs to clear something out. Someone's feeling like it's, it could be worse, but it's about to get worse. <laughs> it's about to get real bad for someone who thought that it can't get any worse than this, but it, it, it's, it's, it's not going to look good for this energy. It's exploding. 
something is hitting rock bottom. Someone is about to see something and it just might be too late to provide some type of change. But I feel like this energy feels like they have it all together. They just don't want to be second best. Someone wants your attention only because they feel your attention is somewhere else. But you're no longer explaining the fact that you're a gift. You're no longer, no longer explaining the fact that you're a gift to someone who's running, running from the truth or playing some type of game. A three ring circus here for someone who is playing the ring master. For many of you, you're not listening, you're not nodding, you're not smiling, you're not compromising with someone, you're doing what you want to do, you're walking away, or you're taking your energy back, you're honking your own horn, and no longer explaining something to someone who is closed off or just a brick wall. Uh, I feel like you've heard this once before, and you're letting it go not scoring this up this time you see the truth when it comes to someone and their ego their shallow ways and the fact that they are completely lacking morals and values this is something that you can't give them this is something you can't teach this is someone who's going to have to go through it to get through it <sighs> because they're the ones who truly need to change However, I do feel this energy believes so confidently they know you better than you know yourself. They feel like they know you well enough to gain sympathy or trust through blood ties or emotional history. So stay mindful. Stay mindful to the fact that what may sound good or look good on the outside is still broken or cracked from within. Yet I must admit, whatever offer that is going to be presented to you may be hard to refuse for some of you. But others, I feel there's no going back. When you put your foot down, I feel you stand solid on that. Wow, someone's not going to like that. Yet, remember what you've been through with this energy. Don't let them break you down because this energy feels they have the right or the tools to do so. Hmm. Wow. But I also feel the Most High has already shown you their true nature. Yet it's up to you what you choose to believe as the best response is possibly no response for someone who is just going to have to miss out. Miss out on someone like you who is priceless. So choose wisely. As your ancestors has fought hard to get you where you are today, because it's hard for me to believe they even deserved you in the first place. <sighs>